Toadzilla64, what's up? New review for you guys of my UTG Gen 2, I believe. Possible Gen 3. I'm not sure how to tell the difference yet. Snipers. Because this one has upgrades in it. It's just got an upgraded spring. I'll be doing the Teflon mod soon. I have the tape even. We'll be ready to go for that soon. Let's get to the review. Metal parts. This whole upper receiver. Everything is metal. The interior, there's some plastic, some metal. It's a little bit of a mix. Everything below here. This whole thing is plastic. Sturdy plastic though. Except for the one metal rail on the bottom where the bipod would go. And the hop-up adjustment. As you can see, it's just a little lever on the side of the gun. There's also the only other labeling on here. There's a warning for usual. As you can tell, spring sniper. Does not come with scope. I bought one for it separately. A cheap a, a Leapers version I got off of a friend of mine. There's not much more to it. Orange cap. Not sure exactly what spring is in it. But when the safety's back, makes this an audible. Well, this maybe doesn't want to do it. Can't pull the trigger. Safety is the standard Remington sliding safety. You get two magazines with the gun. Just like this. These are both empty actually. They hold about 25 rounds. And I bought, and I got the $15 pack with two extras. I didn't buy this particular gun, but bought it from a friend, so I believe it's the Gen 2. Fairly powerful as it is, shoots about 350. With the current spring I have in it, it probably shoots upwards of 430, 440. When I get the, hopefully with the Teflon mod, I should be able to get higher than that. When the mag is in, cock it. Ready to go. Not much to it for now. Pretty nice sniper looking so far. We'll see how I get in the field a little bit. We'll do some aiming tests here. Coming right up. Before we get out in the field, I'm going to show you how to load the babies. Get your speed loader. Just pump the BBs in top of the barrel, on top of the clip, until it's full. Bada bing, we're ready to go. Alright, so I'm also going to show you guys the actual barrel length is actually shorter than my AKS 74. Alright, as you can see, the UTG is actually longer than the AK. Now you're probably wondering how the AK actually has the longer barrel. The bullet mag on the sniper is right here. This is right where it loads. So that barrel only goes from here to the end, which is there. While the AK's loading is all the way back here, giving it a much wider length actual, accurately. I figured this out actually by using the unjamming rod to clean the barrel. And it's a very interesting thing. See you guys in a little bit. Alright, you guys know how my reviews work. Set up the can. I go for power just to see how the can will do holding up. We're going to be about 20 feet back. Let's see how it does. Toadzilla with the can after I did some more shooting to it. Sorry I got cut off, but the can definitely got beat down. We're also going to try something else now. Something I haven't done before. I'm bored. You guys will have to look up the chart for it. Poor man's chrono. Take the can, put it on the end, see if we can shoot through the bottom after it's off safety. 
it has penetrated the bottom, so I know it's at least over 400 FPS from that chart I found about the poor man's chrono. We're going to go through the top now, which is thinner usually. Went through that, went through the top and the bottom. Poor man's chrono of the UTG with the upgraded spring. I know this is a fairly accurate sniper. I can hit man-sized targets from definitely at least 150 feet away. More, I could see more tempting, but I have not attempted anything over 150 at this point. But for definitely a cheap sniper, 85 bucks, especially with the Gen 3 that's got higher power, it's a worthwhile get. I mean, it's not going to be your L9, your well L96 in power or anything like that. But I mean, it's a Reming. It looks like a Remington. M324. I just like the feel of it. I prefer it over my L over an L96. Just my personal choice, but it's up to you. For a good, decently priced sniper, I recommend it. This whole body is plastic on the bottom, but it's definitely not gonna break. And the whole upper receiver's metal. I give it a Toadzilla 64 good rating. If you guys want it, go ahead. It's definitely worth the money. See you later.